Good morning, everybody. Steve and I are out for a hike today in the North Cascades, and we're going to be doing the Panther Creek Trail. Um, this trail goes all the way up to 4th of July Pass, but we're not going to go that far. Uh, we're just going to go probably about um, three and a half miles up and then back. This is a trail that you could do a through hike and go over 4th of July Pass and come out at the Thunder Creek Trailhead. Um, but today we're just going to do, we're expecting um, three and a half miles up and back, so about a seven mile. And we're not sure about the elevation gain. It's probably going to be about 2,000 feet. So, um, yeah. It is uh, the end of May, Memorial Day weekend, and we're going to be keeping our eyes out for bears because we have seen them in this area before. There's parking for just a couple cars right on Highway 20 there. And we're going to hear the road noise for a little bit. This is also fairly close to the Pyramid Lake Trail that we, another hike that we did last summer. The elevation we started off at is around 1,900 and it's around 45 degrees. So I'm starting with my warm clothes. Probably warm up as we're climbing. Steve already saw a Stellar's Jay. But there are not too many birds yet. We're getting a little bit later start than usual. That's because it was raining this morning and we wanted to let that stop. And so the brush is a bit wet. This section's a little more brushy than the others so far. But that just means you're getting like knees to feet wet. So the first half of the trail or so um, is going up the hillside and not near the creek, but we can hear it off to our right now at the bottom of this gorge here. So maybe 10 minutes we'll be near the creek and then for the rest of the way the trail's going to be pretty closely paralleling, paralleling uh, the creek. Pretty orchids right along the trail. We're making our way down to Panther Creek. It's actually pretty steep in some of the places and pretty narrow trail. We don't think this trail gets much use, partially because there's only spot for maybe three or four cars. Yeah, the 4th of July Pass has a great name, but uh, it doesn't have great views. So uh, we read that the last mile or so is pretty steep with about 1,800 to 1,000 of elevation gain. So that's why we're not going to go up there. It's not a huge payoff for climbing all the way up to the pass. Well, we have successfully negotiated the steep section with lots of switchbacks. We didn't count them. Uh, one or two of them were so short, maybe eight to 10 feet. So I'm really glad that we're not backpacking this section because that would be no fun at all. Maybe we'll count them on the way up, but uh, yeah, it's pretty, pretty steep. Just take your time. It would have been nice to have the trekking poles, but um, definitely if I had the backpack on, I would. We can see just a little bit of the creek down there.
get on the trail. Well, I feel like we hit the jackpot down here. So many pretty flowers blooming right now. And um, let's see, there's wild strawberries and gooseberries and thimbleberries. Um, yeah, really beautiful. I think the plants love this section. So anyway, Steve's telling me we gotta keep moving. I stopped and take lots of pictures of the flowers. Oh, it's just beautiful that the sun's coming out. Change a little bit here, less sunlight. We're approaching the nice wooden bridge there that crosses over the creek. That's going to be our turnaround point. turning around point. We went across the bridge, rested for a few minutes. We brought ham and cheese croissants and had a little snack there. So we basically have four sections going back. Uh, this section back to the flowers and the flower section <clears throat> and then the long hard section with all the switchbacks to get back to the high point. And then the last part is going to be fun just downhill down to the trailhead so my GPS stopped for part of the time it was definitely at least uh, 3.5 to get to the bridge there it might have been a little bit more uh, when we get back I'll know for sure We have completed seven switchbacks. How's it going, Steve? Good. Seven in the book. How many to go? Uh, plenty. Okay, here we go. Okay, there's number 10. I'm at 14 and Steve is almost going to hit 15. Whew. 
<laughs> 16. Very 17. Seventeen. So if this is twenty, that's twenty-one. Okay, I think you can do it. Yep. Twenty. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. There's twenty-two. Oh, this is a long one. Steve has made it past number 25. Do we have a couple more? Okay. You need a breather? 27. All right. I think that's the last switchback if we look at the map. We have a little more climbing to reach the high point of the trail. And then I'll be so happy when it's downhill from there. We made it back to the high point of the trail and that was 27 switchbacks and now it's all downhill from here and there are more switchbacks on this side so we'll count them separately and hopefully we have less than a mile to go. Whew. We're hearing a little bit of wind in the trees. Once in a while we hear a leaner tree that's leaning rub against the other one so you kind of stop and take a look at that. Be alert to your surroundings. We've been keeping our eye out for bears or other animals. Haven't seen any. We just saw one pile of bear scat. So, so far so good. Well, we're almost back to the trailhead. It is going to be just about seven miles. We really enjoyed the hike. We didn't see any other people and so it was nice and quiet and uh, you have to earn it. It's quite a climb to get up to the ridge and then down to the other side where the creek area is. But you really can't beat it for a beautiful hike along the creek. You have really lots of access to see the rushing water and um, yeah, just the life cycle of the trees and quite a few wildflowers. I think my favorite today was seeing the wild ginger. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.